Hello, I'm Monday Jones, and welcome to my bed. Um, I'm here today to read to you blo my blog number three that I'm making into a vlog for you. So, just a disclaimer. I am in the adult industry and I do not filter very well, but I will make this PG as possible. Um, keep in mind that if you do visit my website or any of the links that I have below, that it is 18 or older. Yes. Uh, and it is not suitable for work. Get it? <laughs> so, I'm reading from you today my blog entry. A dating mistress, a dating mistress, spring to summer of 2019. I've always been the mistress, but now it is time for me to take the leading role. This blog, so I just burped, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, this blog is about my personal dating experience as a mistress. I'm a professional mistress and a lifestyle mistress. And um, yeah, so this is number, this is my third vlog entry from, and the entry is from spring to summer of 2019. As I adapt to my ever developing relationship with myself, I'm finding comfort in being alone. Evolving, evolving my wants and needs, not only for myself, but in relationship with others. I know I need more than a hot body and matching arous, arousing genitals when it comes to my sexual desires. Sure, it helps a lot, but what I really need them to be able to do is eat pussy and eat it well. That's what I'm looking for. LOL. No. I mean, yes, but that's just one of many things I long for my personal lover to provide to the sexual collaboration. And truth, I will never be alone. I have way too many inter interpersonal relationships in my life to say I'm without partnership, even if I do refer to myself as single. Scrolling through, there's a picture. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. There, um, there are photos on each of my blog, blogs that I write of the the adult erotica that I create with other other producers, with other photographers. I put up a series of photos in each in each blog that I write so that you can see some of my work as well. So here's a big confession. I haven't received penetrated style sex since the transition from my last committed relationship. I'm pretty sure it's because I'm not looking forward to the awkwardness of negotiating what kind of sex we're going to engage in and blah, blah, blah. I like the ease and authentic flow with sex, which doesn't always happen right away with a new partner. By no means does awkward equal bad, just awkward. And sometimes it can be disappointing. I personally gave up on bad sex in my early 20s and was never afraid of taking charge when the other party couldn't get their shit together to provide a fantastic lovemaking session. Plus, I'll walk out on crappy sex with no regrets. It's just the thought of a disappointing sexual experience is a, is a total turnoff for me right now. Obviously enough to not allow dick inside me, dick inside any of my pleasure zones right now. Giggle. I have used the title pansexual to give others a word to better understand my sexuality. But that's just one of many words that can be used to describe me and personally 
I personally relate with Shapeshifter, but not really sure if that's necessary a sexuality and more of a sexual blueprint. I resonate well with demisexual and, and sapiosexual and queer. Queer is a word that took me some time to embrace. I know that was how, and I know that's how the word was presented to me in my story growing up. I needed to rewire it, rewire my understanding and association with the term queer. Deep down, I know I'm really a shapeshifter when it comes to my sexuality and my sexual blueprint and well, overall human behaviors. I enjoy I enjoy and feel honored when I match the pace of my partners. I desire to feel sexual and personally fulfilled in my personal relationships with humans. I desire desire to feel sexually sexual. Okay. I need the energetics, the sensual and the sexual. And don't forget the kinky and the taboo when it comes to sex. I need and want the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual connection too. Sure, I can play in one or two of these realms and feel comfortable for a bit, but that won't last. I need them all. I'm not sure if I've ever added up on one hand the personal partners that have ever matched me as a shapeshifter. Boy, oh boy, when it does line up, it's so motherfucking out of this world amazing balls. Dun, dun, dun. I know I am not the same person in every relationship. I mean, of course, the core me is there, but you see, each re relationship presents each relationship presents its own uniqueness and draws different aspects of me out. Not every relationship goes through the same circumstances or this or similar sexual or emotional involvement. The partnerships even grow and develop at different speeds. With any given relationship, processing and shifts processing and shifts are in every present moment, which plays in the larger picture. I would like to think when we are growing and learning from these experiences, I would like to think that we're growing and learning from these experiences. And if that's the case, how are we ever going to be the exact same in the continuous, continuous evolving being in every moment in the moving world around us? That's impossible. That's just asking me to compare my marriages and the only thing, the only common denominator between my spouses was marrying me. I can go on and on about this. Sometimes I feel like a broken record emphasizing that each relationship is so unique and the agreements between them are built in with that in mind. No relationship is typical and there is no such thing as a one size fits all. I feel like I have plenty of knowledge in this because of the amount of interpersonal relationships I've created in my lifetime. Plus, I work with people very intimately in my practice. I'm forever learning from their complex relationships through the stories that they share with me. I know that my lifestyle can be seen by others as, <laughs> by others as out of this world. But, but for me... It's my purpose, my calling. Let's say interacting and teaching to my calling. Let's say interacting and teaching to be in relationships, not only with others, but with themselves. I learn so much through others and their experience, which helps me to bond, adapt, bond, adapt to the journey of life, and continue to grow into the inner and external world. Now, how do I go about finding a mate to buddy up with if I'm not getting stimulated mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually? Mm, I don't for now. 
until I do, and I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that. I keep doing what I'm doing, which is me. I'll keep doing what I'm doing, which is me. And, well, being a mistress, I'm currently and constantly redesigning myself, building a new career platform to transition into the next phase of my sex work, training for my next race, Wild, one, wild Woman 50K, and preparing one child for their next adventure across the country while bonding with the other and their dog, Poe. It's not as scary as I first thought it was going to be. I'm embracing single life. Being alone is liberating. However, not going to lie, from time to time, I do miss sharing my bed with a lover, a life partner, a true confidant. So, at the bottom of my blog, you can't really see it. I gave you some links as well. There's some links there uh, around demisexual shape shifting. There's a test to take for BDSM. There's a link to this wonderful woman um, that taught me a lot about sexual blueprints. There's a link to, to her website. And um, and then there's some links throughout the blog as well. And again, I will leave a link. I'll leave a link to the blog in the description. Until next time.